while Google has replaced the assistant part of Google Now with the new Google Assistant feature, some people don't realize that Google Now is still running in the background and it's still going to offer you suggestions for things like when you should leave for work in the morning, when you should expect traffic, and everything else that Google Now does. Something else that some people don't realize is that having Google Now running in the background can actually eat up a lot of battery life. And the big thing that causes this is the Google Now feed will keep your device awake when it sh instead should be in deep sleep mode. Now Google is getting better at this with Doze. So if you have marshmallow or nougat, then Doze could help improve the battery life of your device by not letting Google Now activate. But still, the having Google Now on and active will use more battery life than if you have it off. So today I wanted to show you how to disable the Google Now feed to save some battery life. So to start you just need to launch the Google application and you'll find that in the application drawer if you don't have it on your home screen. Then you want to tap on the three dot menu at the top left and tap on settings. And then from here, you, we have a Your Feed section. This is a place that you can set a number of options for your feed for Google Now. But we just want to tap on the Feed toggle at the top to turn it off. And you'll be asked if you also want to delete the Feed Preference for all of your other devices connected to the same Google account. I actually use Google Now on a different device so I don't want to check that because I want to keep it active on my other device. I just want it off on this device so I'll leave that unchecked and then tap on the turn off button. So now whenever I go into the Google application, the feed is actually disabled. So it won't be polling for things like my location and my search history to offer up suggestions for articles. So that is how to turn off the Google Now feed on your Android device so that you can save a little bit of battery life.